So we have five days till we leave the country and we still have quite a bit of work to get done. Uh, we finished about a quarter of the straw on the roof, but it took us a few days just to put that quarter on. So we're a bit nervous about whether or not we're gonna be able to finish before we leave. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time tuning in, remember to hit that subscribe button. We're currently working on building a tiny home out of Cobb. We started this project last year and we've documented the whole build. You can find the rest of the episodes of this build in our Cobb Home playlist. Enjoy! We finally got the straw to put on the roof and we're very excited to start this project. It's very challenging though. So from the beginning, we didn't have much experience building uh, with cob or the structure for the roof or anything else, but there were a lot of videos on YouTube that were very helpful. The thing with the straw roof is we haven't found any good videos explaining with the type of straw that we're using how to put it on the roof. So I think we might just wing it a little bit and see how things go. Uh, we might start asking people to see if they can explain to us how to do it. But the straw's here. So we bought a specific amount of straw for the roof and we did some calculations to figure out how big the bundles need to be to make sure that we're able to cover the whole roof. We wanna keep the bundles consistent, so we were thinking to put them in a bucket to see exactly what size they are, but the bucket's too big. So what we're doing is we're taking a rock that splits the bucket in half, like this, and then we can consistently fit the straw in tight so we know they're all gonna be the same size. these bundles I don't know how many we made maybe over a hundred and it took us a couple of days and now we're ready to put the bundles at the top of the roof wish us luck we are on top of the roof trying to tie these bundles this straw down to the roof so we use a thicker side of the straw and face it towards the outside of the roof and then we layer one on top of another to try to create this incline so when it rains the water trickles off the roof. It's been a tough morning for us. Uh, we woke up and it was raining. It rained all night and it seems like anything is going well today so we just want to go to bed and it looks like it's very slippery so we are not gonna worry right now on the roof. We are not professional, right? So we don't have idea if this is gonna work. Yeah, oh. you can see the, the wall is wet. We're not sure if it's actually going through where the straw is. The straw is right here. We tried to ask some people, we tried to ask for help. Some of them told us that we need some specific plastic to cover the caña. But then other people told us that it's not necessary, but we don't, we don't know who's right. <laughs> yeah, so the neighbor is building some houses and we were able to talk to the contractor who's an architect and he's helped us with a couple little things, but I'm not a big fan of asking for help. So we just wanted to try doing it on our own. But this morning we went and talked to him and he said we were doing it right, that we just had to finish doing what we were doing because we've only covered a quarter of the roof so far. It's a lesson that, that we get to ask for support and help and uh, it's, it's not fun. I wanted to ask for help a long time ago, but just I was like, no, nope, no. Nope. ordered about a hundred bundles that were three times this size. We spent the last couple days breaking them down into this size bundle. Now we have to divide these bundles into three of these small compact bundles. That's what they told us. Yeah, so we just learned that the bundles we were making were way too big. So we're just creating a lot of work doing things over and over. The straw that was delivered has these roots on the end and we just learned that we need to cut them off 
So we didn't do that with the first two sections. So we need to go back, cut all of these roots off in order for the straw to have more surface area and stop more of the water. The issue is we are fighting against time because we have five days left and we're way behind schedule. And it started raining again. <laughs> We woke up this morning we thought the fact that it rained all night was the worst possible thing but it actually led to some very positive results so you can see on my left over here what we did a few days ago and now we're working here on the bottom and basically when everything went wrong it forced us to do some more research to go back to the drawing board and I think oftentimes in life, when something feels horrible, we wish it wouldn't have happened. But then when we look back, at least for me, I realized that what went wrong was a red flag that helped me make a different decision, which uh, led to a better result. This reminds me when I was working in a restaurant, but this environment in the restaurant was very toxic. I couldn't quit my job because I had a lot of debt. I used to ride my bike to that job. One day I crashed with a car and my knee was bleeding. I couldn't go to the hospital because I had to work that day. So I went to the restaurant and I was doing my job like very slow because I was hurt. And we had an argument with my boss and kind of fired me, right? So I went home, I cried all night and I thought that this is the worst thing that could ever happen. <laughs> it was like the worst day of my life. That's what I thought. But the result was better because I found another job, a better job, and everybody treats me like so well, and I worked so many hours. I earned a lot of money. So something that started like being the worst, it was the push that I needed to find what I really deserve. We have four days until we leave and we still have quite a bit of work to do. Rather than moving through each section, now we're working our way around the whole house. So we're on our second level up from the outside. Do you think we're going to finish by the 15th? I will try my best, but if not... What can we do? Yeah. about 6 30 tomorrow is our last day so we're working pretty late i'm exhausted <laughs> we woke up very early we have been working all day like almost non-stop yeah so. it's dark out now so today is our last day to finish the roof before we leave and it seems like uh we're gonna make it. Josa wants to fix another part. This part was the first section we did and it's not that good. Like this part is better because we improved <laughs> trying over and over. And the first section is pretty ugly. We didn't cut the roots off. So we probably won't get to finishing all of that, but we are running out of straw. So it's gonna be close to make sure that we have enough straw to finish up this last section. One of the issues we've come up against is some of the bundles of hay are filled with ants. And these aren't normal ants, these are like red fire ants. The countdown we were doing expired yesterday. We were able to cover the whole roof with paha, with straw. Though there's a section that we were talking about that we started with that isn't perfect not even close <laughs> so we're going back and spending a couple hours this morning to try to make it a little bit better before we take off yeah we still need to prepare everything packing everything for the trip and clean this place because it's a mess <laughs> we don't have much time but we will try to do our best Today we're leaving our tiny home here in Colombia. We're kind of nostalgic <laughs> because we don't know when we will be able to come back, right? And we have to leave the country. Uh, we will explain you why later. <laughs> yeah, so we were able to finish the roof and we're gonna head out 
guess what country we're heading to. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like our channel.